Jo Leute, so wir spielen wieder eine weitere Runde Simulweed Park und äh, ja, wir haben ja schon mitbekommen, dass hier unser Agent gar nicht tatsächlich tot ist. The only thing I get from poking around these boxes is a case of sneezes. I can't turn it. I can't budget. Öffnen wir den I can't budget. An arm extended in friendship or supplication. Hmm. Hard to tell. Sir is made of plastic. No murder here. I can't pull that. We didn't stop calling the tree. I can't budget. Mike Dickdom. Looks like someone knew I was going to get stuck down here. Unless my kidnapper wrote that as a trap. Only one way to find out, I guess. It needs a dime to work. Nein! Nein, 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 ich hab diesen... Ich hab den Zehner, hab ich verschenkt. Nein! The cell phone has no reception. I'm looking for an escape route. But I'm looking to go up, not down. I'm looking for an escape route. I'd say that leads somewhere I don't want to go. Mike Digden. I can't turn this one either. Noch ein Staubkorn. Ich werde jetzt ganz viele Staubkörner sammeln. It's sealed shut. No way to open it. I can't open that. I can't push that. It's sealed. It's it's sealed shut. No way to open it. It's made of plastic. No murder here. Hmm. Scheiße, Mann. Mit dem Zehner, den ich dem anderen Typen geschenkt habe, hätte ich ihr den hätte ich in den Kanaldeckel werfen können. It's it's sealed shut. No way to open it. I need to stay ist focused and solve this murder so I can do what I need to do. Have you seen my dime? Komm, ich laufe jetzt einfach mal hier rein und schauen wir mal, was passiert. Gar nichts, okay. Gott, noch mal. Gott, 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 Gott. The monkey paw knows. Die Fuß ist weg. Not getting any closer to that. A mysterious force must be holding it in place. No way I'm touching that. Yeah. 
Alter, was sind da alles für, 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 für Bücher? Geh zu Spoiler Alert, you die. Don't touch the books unless you know what you want. <lacht> FF 0000 Das ist der Hexcode für Rot. Das rote Buch. Binary Spells. Dead Beef and other Hexes. <lacht> Ten foods to eat just before you die. Upgrade to Windows 10. Sighting so far. Programming for witches. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. 20 klassische okkulte Spiele. Für den C64. Don't touch the books unless you know what you want. Da soll wieder ein Staubkorn. Oh, creepy. Da reden wir mal mit. Welcome to the Thimbleweed Park Occult Bookstore. I'm Madame Marina. Are you here for the hexes, the summer blowout sale, or, or uh, based on those suits you're wearing, my tax records? I don't get too many visits from suited and booted federal agents these days. I'm Agent Reyes. I'm just here to ask a few questions, ma'am. Well, all right then. How can I help? Do you know anything about the body by the river? I know everything that goes on around here. Great! So, you know who was involved in the murder? Okay, so I don't know everything right this minute. But if you're willing to get your hands a little dirty, I can find the answers you're looking for. What do you need to help us find the killer? I don't want to break agent protocol, but we really need a lead in this case. I need to go on a vision quest to find the answer. But I can't really reach out into the void without a little bit of assistance. If you can get me an Agaricus Fungus Visionum Delectamentum Mushroom from the sewers, I might be able to help. Those don't sound legal. And your point is... What is this place? It's the county's primary source of occult books, knowledge, and services. You need hexes, curses, cure-alls, or curios? You come to me. You need voodoo, hoodoo, fortunes, or flimflams? You come to me. Fascinating. You need cough drops or coffee filters? Hey, you go to the quickie, pal. <laughs> can you really hex people? I sure can, no matter what the consumer watchdog service says. Might not always come out exactly as you want, but spirits work in mysterious ways. So if you have any complaints, take it up with them. Did you hex Ransom the Clown? I'm very proud of that curse. He was being a jerk and he needed a little beat down with the karma bat. I think a permanently cursed face might have been more than a little beating, ma'am. You want a taste of my karma bat, Agent Reyes? Oh, 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 no, ma'am. Oh, Sorry, ma'am. Oh, 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 oh. Tell me about yourself, Madame Morina. There's not much to tell. I set up my shop in Thimbleweed after finessing my craft on the road for many years. After all, there's only so many nights you can vomit peyote and pull cactus needles out of your ass in the desert before it becomes old news. How did you get into the occult? Oh, I suppose when I realized I could get baked and make money doing it. I thought it was a serious spiritual practice. 
I don't know what to tell you, dear. I like tripping balls, and with the money I rake in from my curses, I'm gonna retire on a yacht in the Bahamas. Why did you set up shop here? The vibrations. This town has a dark and weird energy which makes it perfect for a cult business. Do you mean an energy like the signals I've been hearing about? No, no, no. Those signals sparking through the air lately are something else altogether. I don't know what they mean, but I know it isn't good. Goodbye. It's on cursed wheels. Brains by Eddie Desire, zombie. Was? Okay, so let's go. It's echt geil. It's echt geil, 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 geil. Also gut, da komme ich jetzt auch wieder nicht weiter. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It is uh, uh, quite annoying. No, sir. Yes, sir. They have been taken care of. Yes, sir. Permanently. Oh, yes, sir. Violently. No, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, wrestling was quite good tonight. Goodbye, sir. Ah, das ist ein quickie Fall. Hier ist noch die Toilette. Oh. Hi there, oh. I'm Quickie Pal Leonard. How can I help you? I'm Junior Special Agent Reyes. Uh, I'm not holding if that's what you're thinking. So, geil, die, die fleischfressende Pflanze erinnert mich auch wieder an Mähmensen. Do you know anything about the body by the river? No, but I heard the sheriff nearly ralphed when he saw it. The 
Only bods I've seen lately are the righteous babes at the top shelf of the magazine rack. Let's not go there. Have you seen anyone acting suspiciously around town? Actually, now you mention it, I did see something suspicious a couple of nights ago. I was on the late shift getting ready to close up and grab some za when Willie the town bum walks in. Was totally whack when I think about it. Why did Willie seem suspicious to you? Well, normally we have to toss him out because the dude smells grody and he never has any money. But for the first time in forever, Bro pulls out this wallet and flashes a fat stack of dead presidents. I thought it was kind of bitching when he bought out the liquor cabinet. Could the wallet you saw have belonged to Willie? <laughs> oh, no way! That wallet was his! I figured he got lucky and found it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. But come to think of it, I'm pretty sure the wallet had some weird red stains on it. At the time, I thought it was the cherry mouthwash he drinks, but it could have been blood. Tell me a bit about yourself, Leonard. Dude, how do you know my name? Are you, like, telepathic or something? No. You just told me your name, and it's also on your name tag. Do you like your job here at the Quickie Pal? Heck yeah! I got a freaking sweet deal here, with free coffee and minimum wage. Plus, I don't get many customers on the late shift, so I get plenty of time to think. You said you get a lot of time to think. I'm like an abstract thinker, way ahead of the curve, man. My mom says I should be more like my cousin Bernard, who got a scholarship to MIT. But why be like that dweeb when I could be like Chuck Edmund? Tell me about Chuck. He's my freaking hero, man. Dude never went to college, just started building his machines when he was a kid. That guy made this town rich just by doing what he loved. You seem to really admire Chuck. That's why I dropped out of high school. I don't want to live my life for the man like some peon in a polyester cage. No offense. None taken. <sighs> These flickering lights are going to drive me insane. <laughs> yeah, it's a trip, isn't it? Oh, they're even better if you get a little toked up and... Ah, uh, <laughs> I mean, yes, officer, I'll get those fixed right away. What do you think about the state of the town? Just ignore the losers who say this town is over. I mean, pff, not even. We got everything a person could ever need here in the Quickie Pal, for one. I'm going to- Welcome to Quickie Pal. Can I help you find anything? It's an I'm sorry for forgetting your birthday card. That's... It's an I'm sorry your hamster died card. Oh no! A hamster in It's an I'm sorry you're feeling like a beep card. Gee! It's an I'm sorry for being a dick card. It's an I'm sorry your face won't come off card. It's an I'm sorry you were cut out of the inheritance card. Schade, dass du I'm here to wurdest. serve. Wie witzig ist das denn? Let's go with the stop corn with him. Let me know if I can help you with anything. Let me know if I can help you. No thanks. Sure are a lot of them though. If I had something to mail, this might work. I'd play if it were a sure thing. Let me know if I can help you find anything. Let me know if I can help you find anything. Take it. It was a sample from a traveling animal repellent salesman. But I doubt if it actually works. I wouldn't want to find out. There aren't any maps left. Sorry, little dude. The, the sheriff came by a bit ago and nabbed all the maps. It looks hungry. I don't have to leave it be. 
How can I help you? Uh, I'm not holding if that's what you're thinking. <laughs> I'm going to look around your store. How can I help you? Uh, I'm not holding if that's what you're thinking. <laughs> I'm going to look around your store. Oh, um, guess I'm on camera. Let me know if I can help you find- I like being on TV, don't you? I like being on TV, don't you? Let me know if I can help you find anything. Let me know if I can help you find anything. How can I help you? Do you sell this brand of whiskey? Let me see. Yes, that looks like Willie's brand. Why? Is he in trouble? Does anyone else drink this brand of whiskey? Actually, no. He's the only one who can stand it. I found this bottle. I'd like five cents back for cleaning up the environment. Well, I'd like five cents from you for taking your bottle. <laughs> Just kidding. Quickie pal humor. Here you go. Need an I'm sorry card? We have a great selection. He doesn't want it. He doesn't want it. He doesn't want it. Do you know my cousin Bernie? Looks pretty dark down there. Wait, I see Agent Ray. Agent Ray, is that you? No, it's the Pope. The Vatican decided to take me on a tour of the sewers. Of course it's me, you idiot. Why are you in the sewer? Enjoying the sights and smells, practicing my sewer spelunking hobby, hunting for ninja turtles. Take your pick. You go spelunking? <laughs> no, you moron. Someone attacked me when I was investigating the alley behind the diner. Are you okay? Are you hurt? Do you need medical attention? I'm fine. I've woken up in worse states and in worse places than this. But usually there was tequila involved. Did you see who attacked you? I will have them arrested so fast their head will spin. No, they came at me from behind. It was lights out before I had a chance to turn around. But I'm guessing whoever it was doesn't like us poking around town. We'll make them pay for this, Agent Ray. Just as soon as we get you out of that sewer. Have you looked around the sewers yet? Yeah, and I couldn't find an exit. There is a payphone down here though, so I might be able to call someone. Neat! Except I don't have any dimes, and my cell phone doesn't work down here. Is there anything I can do? I could see if the sheriff can help? For all we know, the coroner Areno put me here himself. Huh. Good point. If you want to make yourself useful, see if you can find me a dime for the payphone. I'm on it, Agent Ray. Don't panic, Agent Ray. I'm not panicking. I said don't panic, Agent Ray. You need to conserve oxygen. I really don't. But believe me when I say, I'm doing as little breathing as possible down here. I have some great survival tips. I have a survival tip for you, Reyes. <laughs> oh, yeah? It's called Zip It, and I won't punch you in the nuts when I get out of this sewer. <laughs> Are you sure you don't want to hear my survival tips? Fine. Lay one on me. My abuela always said, 
spray rodent repellent in your shoes if you want to keep rodents away from your shoes. That's the most obvious, stupid advice I've heard. No more tips from you, Reyes. Although I am starting to wish I hadn't traded that gopher repellent I had for a carrot cake. It was delicious, though. I'll be back as soon as I can. Don't screw this up, Reyes. But Agent Ray needs a dime, not a nickel. So the penner was, I think, was, I think, here dahinter, oder? In dieser Seitenstraße, wenn ich mich richtig erinnere. Bushaltestelle hoch, was sind da noch? That ransom the clown isn't very popular around here. It says he eats tuna. If by look at you mean smell, I've already done that. Excuse me, ma'am. My, my, my. What do we have here? I'm sorry, ma'am. I don't pay for affection. <laughs> Sweetie, I'm not a hooker. Although, there is something about a man in federally mandated polyester that makes me want to forget my wedding vows. I'm Lenore Edmund Mulch, of the famed Pillowtronics Edmund family, and I'm waiting for my husband and son to arrive on the bus. Do you know anything about the body by the river? Oh, sweetie. Yes, yes, yes. So glad someone is finally getting rid of it. But one does hear things, and I do have an inkling of who might be connected to this nasty business. Tell me who you think is connected to the body. Well, I hate to cast aspersions, but I suppose it is for the good of the town. Tell me what you know. Actually... No, I can't do this. The Edmund reputation is at stake. Ma'am, please tell me what you know. Fine, it was my sister Dolores. She abandoned our family and the business to become a... Call center operative? No, 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 no. It was far worse. She became... A video game developer. It all started a few years back. She only wanted one thing. To be a game designer for that awful game company. Mucus phlegm. Uncle Chuck <laughs> wanted something else for her, but no. She was too selfish. Only wanted to make stupid adventure games. I've got to get out of this town. Uncle Chuck wants me to program his factory computers, but I just want to design games. I wish I could get a job at a company like Mucus Flem Games. Mucus. Now the only thing I have Mucus to look forward Flem. to is my favorite computer magazine. In fact, I should check the mailbox and see if it's arrived yet. It's Uncle Chuck's new invention, the Printron 3000. It's connected to my computer. My state-of-the-art Commodore 64 is turned on now. I'm bored playing games. I want a job at Mucus Phlegm so I can make games. I should check the mailbox. Maybe my computer magazine's arrived. It's my state-of-the-art Commodore 64 with dual 1541 floppy drives and a blazingly fast 1200 baud modem. Die, 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 die. 
My state-of-the-art Commodore 64 is turned on. It's my state-of-the-art Commodore 64 with dual 1541 floppy drives and a blazingly fast 1200 baud modem. Albert's my hero. You're a rebel, Billy. I think Revenge of the Jedi was a much better name. I should check the mailbox. These are part of my action figure collection. Max was the world's first computer-generated TV host. Someday we'll have one for real. Ada, you're my role model. Too bad you don't program games, though. It says, need help? Play. It's my handy ASCII chart. Never know, it's Uncle Chuck's new invention, the Printron 3000. It's connected to my computer. It's the math trophy I won when I was 12 and attending a summer program at Thomas Bodeman's School of Mathematics. It's made out- These are part of my action figure collection, including my prized Howard the Duck. Oh, Howard the Duck. Howard the Duck was cool. I should check the mailbox for- If it weren't for my monthly computer magazine, being here would totally suck. Where am I? Franklin, you idiot! I'm just trying to, you know, help. Is that yelling? Don't gag me. I hope my dad and Uncle Chuck aren't fighting again. And since most of the machinery at the pillow factory is lying fallow, I've come up with this, you know, great plan to repurpose them. We can use them to make, you know, plush toys. Franklin, you idiot! The company is Pillowtronics, not stupid plush toytronics. We make pillows! What do you think that would do to our credibility, our reputation? O okay, Chuck, you're right, but, um... I was up all night working on the business plan. Maybe uh, you could just, you know, look at it? No, no, no! It's a pillow factory! Are you two fighting again? I'm getting so sick of this. Your brothers! Take a chill pill. You started the pillow factory together. Won't you ever stop fighting about it? Nothing you need to worry about, Dolores. Uh, right, Franklin, old brother? Ah, yes, you know... Your uncle and I were just, uh, you know, talking business. I have some work to do. Dolores, can you get my 08 millimeter point tip soldering iron? You know, Uncle Chuck, you should use a 2 millimeter flat tip, and you never heat your solder hot enough. <laughs> That's my favorite niece. I can't wait for you to take over the pillow factory. I know you'll keep the Edmund pillow dream alive. Seems like the mail should have arrived by now. My dear Dolores, I know how you like to use- It's Uncle Chuck's custom-built multi-band oscilloscope with phase memory monitoring. It's a box, but it's sealed shut. Seems it's a TX1138 tube in perfect con- Oh, Dolores, Dolores, Dolores. How many times have I told you not to touch my things? But as soon as you've taken over the pillow factory, they're all yours to do with as you wish. Hmm. Uncle Chuck is always very touchy about this painting. Wonder why. Oh, Dolores, Dolores, Dolores. How many times- It's Uncle Chuck's check register. I guess that makes it a Chuck register. It's an empty bottle of homemade printer ribbon ink. 
I see some black powder around the edges, and it smells awful. Warning, I'd better not touch it. Uncle Chuck gets real angry if I'm too nosy about his business affairs. Dolores, you know I can't work in the dark. Please turn the lights back on. After you've taken over the pillow factory, you can turn off the lights all you like. If it weren't for my monthly computer magazine, being here would totally suck. Hello, my favorite niece. You should be nicer to my father. He just wants to help. Franklin is well-meaning, I will give you that. But he just doesn't have the same passion and vision for pillows that you and I have. Hmm. I just wanted to say how much I love you, Uncle Chuck. I love you too, Dolores. I can't wait for you to take over the pillow factory and restore the family heritage. I should check the mailbox for my computer magazine. Hello, my favorite niece. I just wanted to say how much I love you, Uncle Chuck. <laughs> I love you too, Dolores. I can't wait for you to take over the pillow factory and restore the family heritage. Just have to keep going. Lots of books, but you have to know what you're looking for. The fireplace looks very clean. I can't pull that. I can't push that. Oh my god, let me pull it in. There's nothing inside except an empty glass. There's nothing inside. There's nothing inside. There's nothing in there's nothing in there's nothing inside. There's nothing inside. If it weren't for my monthly computer magazine, there's nothing inside. There's nothing inside. There's nothing inside. Pretty clean, considering. Carefully handling broken glass. Flask of Extreme Chili Sauce by Brian H.J. It's a wilting head of lettuce. It's a can of poopsie. There are a couple of old batteries. I think I see mold growing on one. Looks good enough for a snack. Better be careful. These bottles are sharp. It's turned off. This clock looks vaguely familiar. Hi there, George. I was just about to check the mail. Great timing. You still around, Dolores? Thought you'd have left this podunk of a town by now. Yes, hopefully soon. I'm looking for a job at a game company in the big city. That's not going to make your Uncle Chuck happy. 
He'll just have to deal with it. What brings you all the way out here? I have your special magazine here. Oh, I've been waiting for that. Thank you. Sure, it's what we dedicated government employees do. Walk all the way out into the country to deliver a magazine. It's Bite Me World, the best computer magazine ever. Ja, Muggesfilm. <lacht> Clem. Lucasfilm, wie sie ist. Viele Überstunden, Pizza und gezuckerte Softdrinks arbeiten mit Menschen, die dich auch nicht kennen wollen. Leicht angestaubte Arcade-Automaten im Ruheraum. Ruh Siehe den Prophetist mit der Konsens. Wachsen. Super geil. Wow, an ad for a job at Mucus Flem Games, my favorite game company. I hear they make movies too. This could be a dream. Where the fuck was my... I still get lost after all these years. Und zum Teufel war jetzt nochmal mein Zimmer. Ich glaube die da hinten war es, ne? Genau. It's my state-of-the-art Commodore 64 with dual 1541 floppy drives. Wow! An ad for a job at Mucus Flem Games, my favorite game company. This could be a... Wow! An ad for a job at Mucus Flem Games, my favorite game company. This could be a... I can't open that. It's Graphics Basic, the powerful programming language from Hessware to supercharge my Commodore 64. Das Hi again, George. It's not like a government employee to make a mistake, but I forgot to deliver this important letter for your Uncle Chuck. He's busy in his workshop and can't be disturbed. I'll take it for him. Okay, Dolores, here it is. And remember, it's illegal to open someone else's mail. Punishable by a $50,000 fine and or five years in jail. Thanks, George. That's good to know. Okay, back to my vitally important government job. It's a letter to my Uncle Chuck. As expected, the post office is poorly pro- I'd better not open it. Uncle Chuck would know if I read it if the envelope is ripped. I don't want to do that. It would make it look red. Thank you. 
Uncle Chuck, I have something for you. What is it, Dolores? A letter George the Postman just delivered. Oh, I've been expecting this. I'll deal with it later. I'd better not open it. Uncle Chuck would know if I... It's a letter to my Uncle Chuck. As expected, the post office's poorly programmed auto stamp cancellation machine has failed again. Uncle Chuck, I have something for you. What is it, Dolores? It's that letter for you, Uncle Chuck. Didn't you already give that to me? I'll deal with it later. Hmm. Das ist schon verlockend, den gerade wieder einzustecken, ne? Aber nein, ich mach das jetzt nicht noch ein drittes Mal, oder? Soll es noch ein drittes Mal machen? Komm, ich nehme ihn gerade nochmal. Ich gebe ihm den nochmal. Uncle Chuck, I have something for you. What is it, Dolores? It's that letter for you, Uncle Chuck. Didn't you already give that to me? I'll oh, deal with okay, it later. Jetzt sonst nichts anderes. Okay. Ja, Leute, wir haben jetzt, glaube ich, auch schon wieder 46 Minuten, genau. Ich will jetzt erstmal hier einen Cut wieder machen, an dieser Stelle. Dann schauen wir mal, wie es beim nächsten Mal weitergeht. Ja, ähm, Hammer Spiel auf jeden Fall. Mega geile Story. Bin jetzt echt gespannt, wer ist jetzt tatsächlich der Mörder. Wie haben die hier alle damit zu tun? Wie kriege ich da unten Agent Ray aus der Kanalisation raus? Das ist doch Agent Ray, oder? Wie heißt die? Kann ich jetzt gerade nicht so. Ähm jo. Ist der. Ist der. Äh der Obdachlose vielleicht, eventuell der Mörder, das glaube ich ist alles weniger. Ist sie die Mörderin, so wie es die andere gesagt hat, ihre Schwester? Ich weiß es nicht. Wir werden jetzt einfach mal schauen, was als nächstes alles so passiert. Wenn es euch gefallen hat, dann würde ich mich natürlich riesig über einen Daumen nach oben freuen. Schreibt mir was in die Kommentare, abonniert den Kanal, falls ihr es noch nicht getan haben solltet. Und schaltet das nächste Mal wieder ein, wenn es wieder heißt Simbleweed Park mit Minimum Gleich. Freue mich euch, wie ihr es Macht's gut, bis dann. Ciao.